everyone, welcome to today's maths lesson. So I'd like you please to write down the date and skill just like we normally do. So the date today is Friday the 22nd of January 2021. Wow, that's flown by, hasn't it? Um, and your skill today is to draw bar models to solve division number sentences. So you can pause the video and have a go at that now. Right, your starter for today then. I would like you to match the number sentence to the correct answer. So you can um, pause the video and copy down these six boxes and then use a ruler or something with a straight edge to match the number sentence to the correct answer. Pause the video, off you go. Okay, so hopefully you said 50 divided by five equals 10. Well done, give yourself a tick if you got that one right. You said 40 divided by two equals 20. Again, give yourself a tick if you got that one, good job. And finally, 15 divided by 3 must then be 5. Well done. If you got that, give yourself another tick. Good job. I'd like you to pause the video again once I've read this out and have a little think. You don't need to write anything down for this. If we know that 40 divided by 2 equals 20, what would 80 divided by 2 be? And how do you know? So you can pause the video, have a chat to your talk partner or whoever you're working with, or just a little think if you're working on your own today. Um, and have a go at answering those two questions. Well done. So we know that 40 divided by 2 equals 20. So 80 divided by 2 must equal 40. And we know that that's right because um, 40 add 40 equals 80 because 80 is double 40, isn't it? So the answer must be 40 because 40 um, divided by 2 equals 20, which is the answer to 40 divided by 2. So well done if you got that. Good job. Right, let's learn then. So today we are going to be learning how to draw bar models to solve division number uh, division questions. So if you um, were writing out the bar models yesterday, this might feel like quite a similar lesson. Um, but even if you printed them out, this still might feel a bit similar, but it's just to make sure we really understand how to use those bar models. So please stick with it. Okay, 22 divided by two is gonna be our first number sentence today. You don't need to write anything down, but just have a little think. What would our bar model look like for this question? And why is it important that we use a ruler? So you can pause the video and answer those two questions now. Okay, so hopefully you said our bar model will have um, 22 at the top. That's our total number in the top bar. And the bottom bar will be split into two uh, sections. So we've got 22 at the top divided by two sections at the bottom. And it's really important that we use a ruler so that all of the lines in our bar model are straight and equal. So um, all of our groups are equal size. For example, if we want to divide, divide something by four, you would want to make sure that the, the groups at the bottom, the bars at the bottom were the same size. You wouldn't want one big one and three really tiny ones because you wouldn't be able to share them as the counters as easily. Well done if you said that. Okay, so 22 divided by two then. Hopefully you described your bar that would look like this. And I've shared my counters equally. I've counted one bar at the bottom and um, I have totaled 11. So that is my answer. 22 divided by two equals 11. What could I do to check this answer? Just pause the video if you need to and have a little think. What could I do to check that my answer is correct? Okay, so hopefully you said you could count all of the counters to make sure that you've got the right number. And then you could count each box individually to double check that they are shared equally. Um, if you have 11 in one box and 14 in the other box, they're not shared equally, are they? So you can double check it that way. Well done if you said that. Okay, I say, you say, we say. So uh, I'll say it and you reply and then you can, uh, we'll have a go on your own afterwards. So. There are two groups. There are 11 in each group. So 22 divided by two equals 11. Okay, well done. Now you can pause the video and you can have a go at those two sentences on your own. Well done, good job. Oh dear, Forky has got really confused. He had the question 30 divided by 2 equals, and this is what he's drawn. Can you please have a look and see if you can spot what Forky has done wrong? He's given you a hint there as well, and it says, 
I have made two mistakes. So pause the video and see if you can spot those two mistakes that Forky has made. Okay, well done. So hopefully you spotted that the question says divided by two, but actually he's divided by three, hasn't he? Because he's split that bottom bar into three different groups instead of two. And the other thing that Forky has done wrong is he's used way too many counters. So if you counted them all up, he's actually used 36 counters when he should only have used 30, because that is our total. Well done if you spotted both of those things. Okay, Forky's got himself in a muddle again. He tried to solve the question 30 divided by 2 again, but it's gone wrong. So can you spot what he has done wrong now? So you'll see that he's corrected the right number of bars now. He's divided it by 2 this time. Fantastic. But something still isn't quite right. Can you have a go at drawing what Forky should have done for this number sentence onto your whiteboard if you've got one or your piece of paper or into your book? Um, and explain it as you're going either in your head or to somebody that you're working with. So you're going through each of those steps to make sure that you don't make the same mistake as Forky. So pause the video and have a go at that now. Well done. So hopefully you spotted that Forky didn't use enough counters this time. He used less than 30 counters, which again we know is wrong. So well done if you got that. So Forky's bar model and the one in your book should look like this now. So he's got 30 at the top because that's our total, divided by two groups in the bottom bar. He shared his counters equally and he's counted one up to find the answer, which is 15. So why is it so important that we draw our dots systematically? So that means we do the say, let's do it with a system. So we start on one side and then we go to the other side and continue it that way. So pause the video and think about why it's so important that we draw our dots systematically. Okay, it's really important that we draw our dots systematically so that we don't make the same mistake as Forky and accidentally lose track of how many dots we've done um, and then end up with the wrong answer. Well done. Right, I'd now like you to think about why is it important that you share between the groups one at a time. Pause the video and off you go. Okay, again, it's to make sure that you get the equal groups, isn't it? If you accidentally put two counters into one group and only one counter into another group, they won't be equal and you won't have shared them equally. You won't have divided them equally. So well done if you answered that one. How could you check your answer then? So we've talked about this already, but pause the video and just think to yourself, how could I check that my bar model in my book or on my whiteboard is correct? Okay, so as we said, you can count all of the counters to make sure that it matches the total that you started with. And you can count each bar individually to make sure that they have got the same number in. So they should both have 15 in for this number sentence. Well done if you answered all of those questions. Good job. Right, I say, we say, you say. So 30 is our total that we are sharing. Your turn. There are two groups. There are 15 in each group. So 30 divided by two equals 15, your turn. Well done, you can pause the video um, and have a go at saying that one for me now. Okay, we're gonna have another go at this one. We can have 30 divided by two equals 15, your turn. Or, 30, at uh, 30, sorry, divided by 15 equals 2, your turn. Well done, you can have a go at those, uh, that final box on your own, pause the video, off you go. Well done, right, guided practice time. So, you are now going to draw a bar model to solve a division question on your own. So this is your number sentence, 35 divided by five equals. So the first thing you need to do is write the number sentence into your book, draw the bar model using a ruler or a straight edge and split the bar, the bottom bar, into the correct number of groups that you need from the number sentence. Share the whole number equally between the groups. Count one of the groups to find your answer and write the answer at the end of your number sentence. I'd also like you to then check your answer um, before you press play again. 
Okay, pause the video, off you go. Right guys, well done. So hopefully this is what your bar model looks like. So we've got 35 divided by five equals. We've drawn our bar with our ruler and we've made sure that each of the bars at the bottom are the same size. Got your total number at the top and your total number of counters. And then you have counted one group to find your answer. What was your answer? Hopefully you wrote the number seven at the end of your number sentence. And you've checked it by counting all of the other groups to check they are equal and that you had the right amount of counters. Okay, well done. Your independent practice for today then, you will draw your own bar models to solve the division question. So top tip, use a ruler if you have one or if not, make sure you're using something with a straight edge um, to draw your bars with. So your steps to success then. Um, I know they might be a bit small on your screen, but I will read them out for you. So just make sure you're listening. So write the, num multi multi write the division number sentence that should say into your book. Draw a bar model and split it into the number of groups that you need. Share the total equally between the groups, one at a time. Check your groups to ensure that you've shared equally. Count one of the groups to find your answer. Write your answer at the end of your number sentence. And challenge, can you write the other division number sentence? So we could have uh, 10 divided by five equals two, and this is a really hard challenge. Can you write the other division number sentence that you could use um, with those three numbers? So it could be 10 divided by two equals five. Okay, fab job. Right, here are your challenges. We've got the cool challenge, which I will put as a PDF underneath this video on the website. And mild, spicy and hot. If you're doing the mild, spicy or hot challenge, you can pause the video now um, and you can have a go at some of those. Remember to just use one challenge, you don't need to do them all. Um, if you're doing the cool challenge, you will have to go and print that one off if you haven't done so already, um, or copy that one into your book. Okay, pause the video and have a go with your independent practice, then we'll move on to our chili challenge and our final thought. Off you go. Okay, fantastic job. Right, chili challenge time, true or false? Which one of these questions is true? Is the true what is the true question 35 divided by 5 equals 7 or 35 divided by 5 equals 6? And I want you to tell me how you know. So that might be that you draw the bar for it. Um, or if you want to explain in a sentence, it's up to you. So you can pause the video and have a go at answering this chili challenge. Okay, so 35 divided by 5 does equal 7. Um, so well done if you've drawn the bar model for that or if you've explained about sharing all of the counters equally um, so that there is seven in one bar at the bottom. Good job. Your final thought for today then. If we know that 50 divided by 10 equals 5, what would 90 divided by 10 be? Okay, so you can pause the video and have a go at this one and then we will talk through the answer in a minute. Okay, well done. So we know that 50 is made up of five tens and zero ones, and 90 is made up of nine tens and zero ones. So if you divide the fit number 50 by 10, we're going to lose this zero because we've divided it um, into 10 groups. So we will just end up with five ones. So in 90, if we divide it by 10, again, we're gonna lose that zero because we've split it up into 10 groups we will end up with just nine ones. So your answer will be nine. Well done if you got that really good job today. I hope you will have a lovely weekend if I don't speak to you. Um, take care, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye.